Well, there is no cure, but Simbex definitely improves the way of life, and um, that's the most important thing. Uh, I'm Nigel, I'm age 71. I worked in the insurance industry and reinsurance industry for just under 50 years. I live in Hazelmere in the south of England. I was first diagnosed with Parkinson's 12 years ago. We were on holiday in South Africa having a good time and uh, I developed a shake on my right hand and um, it was strange because it just suddenly appeared. So I came back to London and saw the company doctor and uh, unfortunately it confirmed that I was in the early stages of Parkinson's. Not the end of the world, but um, a bit of a shock. I'm Tessa and I'm 72, married to Nigel and been married for 42 years. It can be very depressing to hear that you've got a disease that's not going to get better as such. But if you can keep it at bay as long as possible, that's the most important thing. I first heard about Simbex through a friend who had a friend in Edinburgh, Scotland, who um, even now I've never met, but we've conversed by phone and video call. He introduced me to Simbex. What's encouraging about Simbex is that it, it gives a ray of hope to live life normally. I mean, I reckon probably 95% of the time I lead a completely normal life, so I'm very grateful for that. My wife Tess is a nurse, a retired nurse. Um, she's extremely bossy and um, she keeps me on the straight and narrow. I mean, I was used to looking after Parkinson's patients on wards and things back in the late 60s and it was very different then. It, medication was about the only treatment. And light therapy, I thought, well, actually, how does it work? Technology has come on so far. I have um, the PD Care, which is the laser, and um, the neuro helmet. The question quite often comes up whether you should have one or the other but um, I'm very comfortable having both, and they both seem to add value. Nigel does that when he gets up in the morning. He does it himself. I've not got to be involved. It's very easy. There's nothing particularly mechanical about it. Well, the PD Care laser gun I use uh, on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and probably for about 20 minutes. So it's fairly straightforward. And um, the helmet I use daily, and uh, for about 20 minutes as well. I normally do it um, first thing in the morning whilst uh, reading the newspaper and having a cup of coffee. It's not a big deal really, it's straightforward to add it on to something a bit like brushing your teeth. I think the main change was his mood. He seemed to have a lot more energy, he felt alive and of course if you feel well then you're motivated to do everything else. So for instance all the things that he'd started, the exercise, um, trying to have a diet which is good for Parkinson's, a particular diet, and get out and about and, and see friends and carry on doing the same things. It's terribly hard if you're not really feeling in top condition. But I must say, I think that was the big change for him. He suddenly felt that actually he was back at being part of the human race and could get out and, and do things. And his friends noticed a difference as well. Well, the, the biggest um, plus side is in walking. In the mornings before I've used the helmet, um, I'm shuffling. And, um, but as soon as I've used the helmet, I'm able to walk again normally. So initially the family were quite worried about would I not be able to play golf, would I not be able to drive, would I not be able to work in the garden, and all those things I've continued to do. I've just taken up bowls. I run the um, local chess group and uh, I formed an investment club. Because he's got a lot more energy, it means we can do a lot more. We're still travelling hugely. Um, we lead incredibly busy lives and I can't see that stopping. If I had the opportunity to introduce Simbex to friends with Parkinson's, I would say keep an open mind and give it a try. What have you got to lose? <laughs>